Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I had a request to show all of my Christmas books, so I'm gonna be doing a little quick video to show all of the Christmas books that I have, and I do have a ton. I did not purchase all of these books. I was gifted many of them, and I'm so thankful to all of the creators and illustrators of these amazing books who are so generous and share them with me so that I can share them on my Instagram and YouTube. And so I wanted to share them with you guys. I know everyone has different taste and everyone likes different types of coloring books. So I thought this would be a fun video to just show all the coloring books that I have and you guys can see which ones are your favorite and um, so you can pick up any that you are still hoping to get for December. So I'm just gonna start out by flipping through um, a lot of the books that weren't in my November completed pages, and then I'll get into um, the ones that I did show on my November completed pages. And then I have a ton of books that are from last Christmas that I have, and these are books that I did purchase on my own. And they're a lot of books that I have. I have a few that are completed and many pages done in them. So I'll get right started and stop talking. It's already been a minute and I've already blabbed away so the very first book here is um by satch and satch diva this is bold and easy cozy christmas and this one i have done quite a number of pages in this is the bold and easy style so it's not color by number but there is also a color by number option these are beautiful illustrations and i highly recommend this one i will also link all these um books below. I won't link them individually, but I'm going to put the link for my Amazon storefront. And if you're interested in any of these books, you can head over to my Amazon storefront and there will be a flip through for all of these books. I have every single book, even the ones that are completed. I have a list in my categories where you can watch all my completed books. I think I have 21 or 22 of them and so you can see all the books that I have completely completed so if you want to see those and they are affiliate links so if you do purchase any of the books I do get a really small commission and it's so helpful so thank you to those of you who do take the time to use my affiliate links. This one is by Heraku Hakiru Kutz and this one is really beautiful. I love all the images on this one and there is a little advent at the front so I've been doing each day the little advent in there. The next one is the book by ASMR Coloring and this is a book where each day she does a colored picture on her Instagram and so I love coloring along with her and I'll definitely be doing that for the month of December and into January. This one I'm loving. This is Jolly Things by Ali Maku. This one is a beautiful holiday and Christmas book. I've done a few pages in it already and I'm just loving it. The images in it are just so breathtaking. She has a really neat style where she has black and lighter gray lines. So she has little accents in her books as well. Super cute. This one is by Kai colored caramel it is festive corner this one also has a little advent in the back so I've started doing the advent there and this is all different scenes you get some bold and easy type ones and then some are scenes with borders it's a really nice amount of pages in here and I did complete that one the next one is by Coloring Calmness. This is called Cozy Christmas. This is another cute book. Honestly, every single book that I show is beautiful and I love them all so much. I'm gonna try to color in as many of these pages as I can through the Christmas month. I'm hoping to get so many pages done for December. This is by Sunray Books. It's by Steph Mortimer. This is called Frosty Buddies. This one has bold and easy images and then it also has some scenes and also it has a little bit of pattern pages. It's very precious. I did this little one with the quilt and all the pages that I'm showing, almost all of them I've used Ohuhu alcohol brush markers. This one is a sweet one. Um, it's by Colored Caramel. It's Ghostly Cute Christmas and it has little ghosts in it and it was a cute transition from Halloween over to Christmas and I did a few pages in this one actually. Um, let's see. Maybe I just, oh, this book I just have one done. So I did this little cute one where they're reading spooky Christmas stories and then I loved doing the quilt. I've been having a lot of fun doing patterns. It reminds me of washi tape. So I've been having a ton of fun using my washi tape inspiration for patterns. This one is called Cozy Christmas. This is by Island Smiles Press and they have really cute books. These ones have really sweet, bold and easy images and then a little bit of scenes in here as well. And I did color this little deer one. 
This is definitely going to be a long video. So if you guys want to pause it and grab a hot cocoa or a coffee or tea to watch this, this is definitely going to be a good one to um, put for a time when you have a good amount of time to watch it because I think it's going to be pretty long. I did one page in this one. There it is. I did this cute little bear with the little fuzzy hoodie on there. This is a Christmas mandala book. This is also by Steph Mortimer. It's Sunray Books. And this is just Christmas mandalas. And these are really, really fun little mandalas. I love easy coloring. And I love patterns and mandalas because you don't have to spend a ton of time picking out color combos. You can just pick out what you're going to color with and then just keep repetitively coloring the images, which I love. This is another one by Island Smiles Press. This is Cozy Girl. I really love their style. This one has some girls in it. I had a great time coloring this one. I'm definitely going to be doing more of those over the Christmas. This one is Polar Nights. This one is by Whirly Art Studio and it has all different little scenes in it. And I did this one here. This one has a little bit of fall and winter images in it, which again is a really nice transition going from the fall into winter. This is Mufu's Cozy Christmas. This one is by Fuwami Corner. This little sheep in this book is just so precious. I've seen the most lovely inspiration on Instagram from this book. Definitely check out this illustrator and all the inspiration that um, lots of people have shared on Instagram. I did this cute little pattern page of the little Fumu, or um, Mufu is his name, of the little lamb, and he's a little gingerbread cookie. This one is by Jeanette Veronica. It's Cozy Christmas Patterns. I love pattern books and I had to do a cute little pink snowman page. This has a lot of cute bold and easy images to color and then some more intricate patterns. This is one of my favorites that have recently come out. It's called Bold and Easy Christmas Gnomes. This one's by Satch and Satch Diva and I've already colored, I think seven pages in this book. I'm obsessed with it. I love the bold and easy style. And this does also come in color by number. So if you're interested in having um, the colors picked out for you, it is also available in color by number. Super cute. This is another book by Satch and Satch Diva. This one is Christmas Quotes Advent Calendar. So each day of the um, days leading up to Christmas, there will be a little quote. So this will stay one and day two. I'm trying to do it along as the days go. So um, it will have all of the days leading up to Christmas and these are really bold and nice easy simple pages to color. This does also come in a color by number version. This one is by Steph Mortimer. Again that's Sunray Books and this one is Festive Fun. I really like this one. Her books are so cute. I love all the little critters in there. I did this little piano page. There's a good a mix of um, in this book bold and easy images. You get some of her cute little mandalas and you also get little scene pages. So this one's a good value because you get a little bit of everything in there. This one is by Satch and Satch Diva. It's Stained Glass, Joy of Christmas. This is another bold and easy book. This is a newer style he came out with. It's a stained glass style, but bold and easy. I just did that one there. And this also does come in a color by number version. Cozy Christmas by Pika Poyo. I only did one in here, but I definitely want to do more over Christmas. How cute. Look at the gingerbread. These are just the cutest little scenes. I love, love, love these little gingerbread that are in here. This is a really tiny little book. I think it's a six by six. Oh yeah, six by six mini coloring book size. This one is by Button and Twink and they are two sisters who make coloring books and they're the sweetest. I love their books. This is a fun one if you're wanting to do a book to complete. It is really quick and easy and you get so many cute little images in here. I think I colored three pages in here. Oh, I also did the little polar bear one. By Sui Sui, this one is Hugga Ho Ho Ho. I thought that name was so cute. There's a ton of cute little winter scenes in here and they're not too um, intricate or difficult. There's some that have more um, details in them, but for the majority, they are pretty nice and bold and easy, which is so nice. I love those for scene pages. This one is by Art, Int Art Media. It is Christmas Quest. So it's a color by number book and you get hexagons, squares, rhombuses, circles, and triangles. So what you do is there is numbers on the page and it's by the different shapes. So there'll be circle ones and here you get a few of every one. 
um, squares, all of them. And then you get on the side, only it shows the colors that you're gonna need for that particular page. So I did a few of them. These are really fun to do and there's no like key in the back so you don't know what the pages are going to be so it's kind of really fun to fill those all out and find out what the pictures are going to be. This one is by Inna R. Zimberski. This is Nordic Christmas. This is a really sweet one. I did this little tree. If you like mandalas this is a cute way to branch out from mandalas because there's a little bit of like snowflakey type mandalas and some trees and ornaments and it's a really pretty and dainty. I love it. This book is a seasonal book, so it has all the different seasons in it, but I'm hoping to do a whole bunch of the winter pages. I haven't done any of them yet, but there's some really, really cute Christmas ones in here that I want to do so badly. I've done quite a number of pages. I didn't get to do any in the Halloween um, season, but I did do um, a fall. I guess I did do one. I must have done a pumpkin one in September, maybe. Um, I know October I didn't get to, and I loved the little apple one. And then I've also done some summer ones. I did quite a few summer pages. It's a really pretty pattern book. I love that one. Definitely one that I'm going to try and complete. This book is by Gabby Wolf. Um, I just recently found her on Instagram. This one's called Christmas. Cute and easy coloring book and she shares a ton of inspiration on her pages. She colors her pictures on her Instagram page and she shows the cap lids that she uses so you can color along with her. So I did all of these pages coloring along with her for her inspiration except for this one. I just copied the front cover of the book and it was so easy to do. I used my Ohuhu alcohol markers. This one's so cute too. It has like some scenes, some bold and easy images. Really love her style and she does also have a little advent that's at the front and she's going to be coloring one little square from the advent every day. So on um, December 1st you do the bow and then the second you can do the snowflake and color along with her or color it with your own colors if you want as well. This one is Magical Snow Globes. It is by Colored Caramel and this book is so cute. I definitely want to try and color a ton of pages in this over Christmas. This one is going in my Christmas bucket like right near the front. I love snow globes and so I did this pink one. I did little candy canes on the scarf there and I had so much fun making it pink and whimsical. This one is by Lila's Coloring. It is called Winter Fun. It has a ton of scenes in it and they are just absolutely precious. I love how the eyes are not colored in because you can color them in with whatever color you would like. I did these little owls and I thought that looked really cute. I'm excited to color more from this book over the Christmas holidays as well. This next book is by Hikiru Coots and this is called Christmas Patterns. This is another book that I'm probably going to try to complete. This is totally my style and I just love every page in here. I did one so far with the little presents but I haven't seen this one shown too much on Instagram or YouTube and it's a really sweet one. Luli Doodles has this new one called Cute Christmas and this one I am coloring all in pastel colors. I'm going to try and complete this one too. I say I'm going to complete them and I'm actually pretty good at completing books but I'm not going to be able to do all of them. I know I've set my standards way too high for trying to complete books this year, but I'm going to try my best to get some done. Um, these ones, I follow the inspiration from her Instagram. She always shares her colored pictures with the colored marker lids, which I love. So I have that one um, that I had colored along with. This one is called Comfy Patterns. It's bold and easy coloring book, and this is by Sweet Art Ruse. I only did one so far in here. I did this little cute pattern one. I love all of these little pages. There are really beautiful pattern pages and I like how they're all different types of, I like how they're all different types of borders. So it's not just open backgrounds. There's a lot of cool borders. So you get like that wavy one. There's like a little honeycomb one, one with little waves, one that is kind of like um, a quilt and these like little swirls, really unique pattern book I haven't seen.